Okay, team, we're back. More challenging equations. This is part two. But this time, we've, I'm throwing fractions at you. I don't like the fraction. The, nothing wrong with fractions, okay? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Here we go. Let's see if we can solve these, okay? Again, what are we after? If you do one thing on one side, you got to do the same thing on the other side. Isolate the variable. So we want that guy by himself, okay? So how do I get rid of two-thirds? Well, you know what you can do? You can multiply each side by the reciprocal three halves. Oops, that wasn't very good, was it? Okay, because when I multiply two thirds by three halves, guess what? The threes divide away and the twos divide away and leave me with what? Just one, right? So X is equal to, and remember I can do this, right? This nine can be a nine over one, okay? 9 times 3 is what? Negative. 27 over 1 times 2 is just 2. Okay? There's your first one. Okay? Got X all by himself. Over here, we got to get Y all by himself. So step 1, let's get rid of that 3. So minus 3 on this side, minus 3 on that side. Okay? So that guy goes to 0. So this becomes negative 3 fourths y is equal to negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Okay? Now let's multiply, right? Let's multiply. When I have a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply this guy by negative 4 thirds. Because the negative times a negative makes a what? Positive, right? So I'm going to multiply this side by negative 4 thirds, okay? Did the same thing to both sides, didn't I? So the threes go away, the fours go away. This side leaves me with y only. And on this side, remember this is 5 over 1. So negative times a negative is a positive. So 5 times 4 is 20. And on the bottom I have 1 times 3, which is 3. And that doesn't reduce any more, does it? And that would be my answer. Y equals 20 divided by 3, or 20 over 3, or 20 thirds. Okay. Next, ooh, this one looks bad, doesn't it? Oh, the Z is on the top, and i got to get him by himself. Hey, guys, when you make Zs, put a little line through the middle of it, okay? When you put a little line through the middle of it, it distinguishes itself from that guy over there that looks like a Z, but that's a 2, okay? So put a little line through the middle of your Zs. Okay, so the very first thing is I'm going to get rid of this denominator. You know what I'm going to do? If I multiply this whole thing by 7 and multiply this side by 7, the 7s will go away, won't they? They'll divide away. 7 over 7 gives me how much? 1. So now this side becomes minus 3 minus 5z, okay? And this side over here becomes 4 times 7, which is... 28, right? Okay. Now let's get rid of this 3 over here. Okay. So I'm going to add 3 to this side and add 3 to that side, taking that to 0. So now I have minus 5z is equal to 28 plus 3, which is 31, right? And now how do I get rid of a minus 5? Well, I could divide this side by minus 5. Because 5 over 5, negative 5 over negative 5 equals 1. And then i got to divide that side by negative 5, right? So z is equal to negative 31 fifths, or 31 over 5. Every one of these is giving me a mixed fraction, aren't they? Sometimes they don't divide up to be beautiful things, okay? One more step, gang. How do I get rid of this guy, Okay. How about we add 5 to both sides? Okay, so that whole thing there goes to 0. So now I have 1 half A is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus 5 over 1, right? I'm just going to put a 1 there. i got to have a common denominator. So i got to multiply this guy by 2 over 2, right? And so that would give me negative 3 halves plus 5 times 2 is 10, 10 halves equals 1 half A. 
Okay. Ooh, what if before I do anything, before I do anything, let's multiply both sides by two. So this whole thing here multiplied by two, or you could say two over one, right? This whole thing multiplied by two, okay? And remember our distributive property we talked about, okay? So twos go away. This side just becomes A, doesn't it? So I have a distributive property. I have to take this and I have to multiply it by this guy, and then I have to multiply it by that guy, right? So I have to multiply the two by both of those terms, okay? And the twos are going to cancel out there, and they're going to cancel out there, and it's going to leave me with minus 3 plus 10, which is equal to... Seven. A equals seven, doesn't it? Okay. So to get rid of a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal, but you have to do that to both sides, okay? All right, I hope this helps, gang. I'll see you back here next time.